Hey again folks, this is the batch that Blake is staying in with me and his dad and his mum and other friends that have been visiting along the way, plus a couple of dogs that shouldn't be inside, don't know if they're allowed to be inside, but they are inside, and Blake is getting ready for our mission today. Yeah. What's it going to be, nymphing or dry flying, mate? Oh, well it's a lake, so probably a woolly bugger to start with. Something like this here is always good, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, nymph, that doesn't work. That was probably the best plan you could come up with, I reckon. Blake ties his own flies as well, and he makes knives amongst other things. We've been deer stalking, and you can probably tell that we've both got the man flu, but it's not going to stop us. So far, I've been out chasing deer and literally chasing them and getting a wet ass. It's been raining for the last six days, solid, and it's made it bloody hard, which gives you an appreciation. People that live here on the west coast, how hard it is to do stuff because you know, now we've got a small window of opportunity. Maybe it's fine this morning for a couple of hours, and then it'll rain again. So, over here, Outside, I want to show you what we're going to use today on the lake. It's the Nifty inflatable. You see, it's got some bedding in it. That's because Poe we slept in it last night, and that'll be our machine for getting out. And I've got a tiny little outboard motor made in China, and we're going to use that to power us up. It's a two-horse motor around, and brrr, so we'll see you down the lake. Are you pumped? Yeah. Check this out, it really is just amazing down here. We've had really bad weather for the last, what, five or six days, Blake? Yeah, yeah. And now it's clear, blue sky. It's like we've been through all this rubbish and now we've got this beautiful, beautiful weather. I like breeze in the water. Blake saw a trout just in here as we got here. We've only just pulled up on the truck. Slight breeze. Hopefully it doesn't come up too much, eh? No, it's good that it's behind us, easy, better for casting. Blake just hooked into a good trout and lost it. How big do you reckon it was, mate? It would have been a good five pounds. Good five pounds, yeah. really? Yeah. I saw your line bending, eh? Yeah, it was a good fish. Did it break the uh, trace? Yeah, it did, just at the... It's cut right through? Yeah. Teeth yeah. got it, eh? Yeah, I, that or I think it did get manage to get around a snag as well. Oh, yeah. That's a good point, though, eh? Yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've seen quite a few fish just cruising around. So what were you fishing camp. with at that stage? Uh, that was just a woolly bugger. Oh, yeah. No. Keep trying, mate. Yeah. Good point. If you can catch one, you can catch another one. Here we 
we go pace. We'll fish on, boy. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh! Trout. Trout for lunch. Stay on, mate. Stay on. Here he goes, Pace. Just a nice trout to eat. Not a biggie. Oh, yes! Right by the... Right by the... The truck over here. How far is that? A nice wee trout. Oh, happy days. Happy days. What he's been feeding on. Looks like almost like a weed. Oh no, little tiny nymphs and sand flies. That's what he's been feeding on. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Absolutely cracker. Perfect eating size. But I caught that trout. On this here, which Grant let me. Now Grant's a good bastard. And he's officially in the Good Bastards Club because he's helped so many people out in this area with catching white bait and deer and and now trout, put him in the right uh, place, the right lure. Local knowledge is everything. And I really wanted to eat one of the trout out of this lake. I know a lot of you trout fishermen practice catch and release. Uh, I practice catch and eat and release when I've uh, got nothing to eat. And yeah, now I've got something to eat, so I might catch one more if Blake hasn't caught one for his lunch, or if not, then uh, I'll release it. Good fun. Along these uh, banks where these flats are, uh, where the fish come out and feed. I think we got another one on there, Pace. This will be dinner for Blake if we get it in. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Just a wee one. Oh, he's not going to fight much, is he? He just suddenly realised he's hooked. Woohoo! It's lunch for Blake. Because this guy here, about the same size. One each for lunch. We sort it. Beauty! How about that, eh? Two in like 20 minutes. It is lunch sort of pace. Pretty good. Takes it all, Blake. You saw a good fish? Yeah. Got two. Yep. Up. Push it out, mate. Push it right out. So we got lunch, sort of. Right. Yeah. One in. No block, Blake. Green water, eh? so it doesn't burn so bad. Right. Awesome.
heaps of salt, heaps and heaps. Gourmet pepper. Quite hot there, eh? Yeah, it's not too too bad once you get over top of it, yeah. Yeah, it's putting a lot of heat. I don't know who's having a better time, you or Pace. That looks good, Blake. I reckon it was done, eh? Pretty good. It's good? Yeah. Oh, it's delicious. First food today. And it gets a 10 out of 10 because I'm not a big trout fan, but that tastes bloody magic. Not overcooked, just right, eh? Really good. Spatchcocked trout. You happy with that? Yeah. Me too, man. I've eaten a lot of trout, eh? But this is definitely the best I've ever had. Yeah, the rest of them are real muddy and just yep. white looking flesh. Do you rate this as like the best you've ever had? Yeah, definitely. Me too, eh? Like, it's just so good. It's juicy, tasty. It doesn't taste muddy at all, does it? No. It's really fresh and just yummy with the um, lemon, the salt and pepper and the smoky taste. Could just eat this all day. Hope you guys enjoyed our trout catch and cook video. Good luck with your own hunting and fishing and cooking. And be good. If you can't be good then do what he's not doing. Pace, leave it. <coughs> be careful. See you later. The skin. Yeah Pace, get up. He can handle those bones just like a seal can handle the bones of a fish. Mm -hmm. Seals and dogs are very similar, that's why they have pups. Well it didn't take long for this bloke to find a bit of trout left over. We don't need to take him though do we mate? We had enough to eat. <laughs>